Hey guys, welcome back to Minute Watch. And like the title implies, we're gonna change the crystal out of this Seiko Orange Monster, the Generation 2 Orange Monster, an SRP309. So, <clears throat> uh, I'm addicted, I'm super addicted to crystal swaps right now. It's my life, it's my main goal in life. No, it's not, but it's really cool and uh, I really love it. So, why not show people how I, how I do it? So, here's what you're going to need, in my opinion, with the tools you will need. You're going to need, of course, the crystal. Uh, you're going to need a, the tweezers of tweezing. Uh, you're going to need the case back removal tool. And th this one comes with assortments of, uh, of uh, uh, things to stick in the hole. <laughs> and I put them all in a, in a, uh, a, uh, a pill reminder case. I think that's a good idea. Yeah? No? Yeah? No? Yeah. And uh, you're going to need the blower of blowing. That's always a good thing to have the blower of blowing. The box of holding. That's where I'm going to put my movement in. M -m 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 movement. The the dies that I, I think I need. The nylon uh, dies. That's what I call them. I don't know what they're really called, but I call them the dies. A spring bar pusher. A little raglet. Ball of justice. A tiny cookie. Crystal press. And the case holder. Um, when I use the case holder, I actually put the rag inside around the, uh, like this, just to uh, show you what I did. I don't want to get stuff scratched up, so I put, you position this like that, and uh, put the rag inside. Then I put the, then I put the, the watch inside and screw it down to it's really tight. Then you can have a nice good leverage and you, you minimize scratching of your case. Thank you for making the noise. So we're not going to need this because I've already, I've already, uh, loosened it. I'm not going to need this obviously because we've already loosened it and uh, we'll just push everything a little bit farther away. All right, let's get let's get to stepping. Uh, I'm going to use the ball of justice to to unscrew the case back to a point where I can get it out. I'm going to be very careful guys. If you have seen the progression of my videos, you've seen the first video was just just uh, terrible and and uh, just a nightmare to watch for people who, who like to be very careful with their stuff and uh, uh, I'm very rough I'm a dude I'm a rough dude <laughs> uh, but I'm trying to be delicate I'm trying to be a delicate special snowflake guys oh look at that that is the 4R36A of the monster and it is I in my opinion it is really nice uh, I wish it just, I wish it wasn't on but uh, what are you gonna do? You know, the slight slightest movement got this thing going. So pfft, whatever's. So first things first, unscrew the crown. Like so much Mitsubishi uh, Lancers. Okay, I don't know what, what does that even mean. What is my? I was watching a lot of Mighty Car Mods tonight, and uh, that's that's what happens. Okay, and uh, the camera's in the way, but I can probably get it in there. So, just to let you know, that right there, can you see it? That little place right there is what you push down to pull off the crown. And, uh, no? No banana? Pretty sure that's what you push down to pull off the crown. But it did not do it. It's supposed to be the same as the other 4R36 that I did. Why is this different? Hmm, that is that is making me perplexified as to why this is different than the turtle. <laughs> oh, what the heck is going on? That is just that is just uh, bizarre. Okay, I see it. Uh, I see it. You gotta kind of push it in first. To, to, yeah, it's gotta. You gotta unscrew it. It's gotta be in the in position. Then you then you expose the the le the arm lever. Booyah! Got it. Whoa! Look at that. That thing is so big. <laughs> it's such a big stem. That's what she said. Okay. Now I'm gonna super magically carefully try to get this uh, movement out of here. Uh, looking for a good grab point for my. Uh, tweezers of tweezing oh god this is just such like 
the other the other videos I did, I just didn't care at one second, and like, everything like just kind of worked. But now that I'm like super paranoid about it, I'm just like, ugh. This is just oh oh okay hello. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put it on something soft here. Uh, that's not gonna work. That's super dusty. That was a bad idea. I'm gonna blow this out again. I don't know how to get this out in the most careful possible way. So I'm just gonna do it like I did the last time and just kind of transfer it like that. Oh my god, that is so much better. Look at that. Are you proud of me? <laughs> Are you proud of me guys? That was like the best one ever. That was the cleanest. That was the cleanest one I've ever done. So alright. Check it out. Empty monster case. Grrr. All right, move tiny cookie and get the crystal press back in action here. What is this? This is just not gonna. This I don't know what. This is all corruption. This is corruption, like the presidential election. And uh, I gotta respond to a text real quick. Okay, sorry about that. And it wasn't actually a text. It was just an email. What was it doing? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna get this. So this big die right here doesn't quite fit. I'm just gonna have to try to, I gotta get bigger ones. And, uh, yeah, pop that sucker in there. So will this fit? That will not blend. I need to find one that blends. Will it blend? One man, one die, one crystal press. This summer. <laughs> I've been actually practicing the movie announcer guy like for like years and I can't get it. You need like a special kind of voice for that. In a city where one man decides to press the shit out of a crystal all of a Seiko monster. And that's how easy it is. <laughs> it's super easy to press these crystals out guys. It's not even funny. So the gasket is still in there. It's still intact. It looks good. It looks reusable. I'm just going to get the... The blower of, of, of blowing and blow some shit out of there. I'm, get some, I'm even actually going to go so far as to just give it a little bit of a wipe. Because there are some dust particles that have gotten in there right there. Okay. And uh, let's see. That one. That one might be good. This one might be the one actually. Just, uh, yeah, this, I'm going to use this one. Screw that one back in there. And then put this one like that. We're gonna we're gonna put this one on the rag again. And am I boring you guys? Am I? Uh, I'm boring myself. Jeez, I sound like a freaking. I'm boring myself here. So gonna get the crystal here. Uh, I'll be right back. I gotta get some gloves. Uh, I forgot the gloves. So. These gloves are from Costco. They're actually super cheap. Instead of buying the little finger ones, I'll just use these gloves because they're like a half a cent each. Uh, so, over here anyway. So I'm just going to use the gloves of stickiness and uh, get that crystal on. Uh, huh. Time to do the evil operation, see? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get the crystal from Crystal Times. This is the CT056 uh, blue anti-reflective coated crystal, and uh, we're gonna get that sucker on here. Very important, you gotta make sure this crystal is placed exactly perfect on your case, otherwise it will not go in. And uh, I'm gonna get it right, sit it just perfectly, perfectly, perfectly. And then after it's after you're satisfied that you have it on just right, um, you're gonna want to uh, you're gonna want to uh, just give it a little bit of a pressure, just get a little bit of a push uh, with your crystal press, just to just give it a little bit, and then you're gonna check it. You're gonna get it a little bit, and then you're gonna check it. So this is not quite on there good. And uh, okay, I think I have it. I think I have it perfectly, yeah. Yeah, I'm actually gonna try to press it with my fingers just a little bit. Nope, nope. 
Um, okay, I think. Pretty sure. Pretty sure got it right where I want it. Mm, nope. See, that's why you don't. That's why you check, guys. That's why you make sure it's perfect. Um, or you will risk not having a good seal. And uh, if you get your watch wet, you're screwed. So do it right. That looks good. That looks good. And I'm going to give it a, just a just a slight push. Just a slight push. There you go. It's real, real delicate with these things, guys. Oh. And I'm just going to give it a slight push. Oh man, I love doing this. It's it's actually kind of therapeutic to me, you know. Uh, the weird thing about th this uh, this uh, <clears throat> yeah, that went in perfect. I think it's I think it went in absolutely perfect. Yep, that thing uh, went in a little bit perfect. I am actually going to do it, I'm going to triple check it, double check it, double check it, and I'll be back. Alright, I got the crystal back on perfectly, and it's very important to uh, to get it on super centered before you, you put it on. I can't stress that enough. Uh, yeah, it looks good. And uh, another thing to note is that um, when, you, when you're pressing the crystal from the back, uh, make sure you don't bend the tube, the, the little tube right there uh, that, that goes to the stem because uh, that's what I did <laughs> but I bent it out and hopefully it's okay uh, but I am gonna get a a pressure tester like I said so we'll test this watch just be careful with everything that you do and uh, think about every step you make every breath you take I'll be watching you <laughs> okay so we're going to uh, we're going to, uh, yeah, I don't want to touch like the movement like that, so I'm going to put this upside down. I'm going to grab this movement like so much. Big old lint right here. There you go. And grab this movement like here. For the crown. Where is the crown hole? There it is. So that is gonna go here, I believe. Should I? I should have done it the other way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it this way. Sorry, guys. If you don't like that, too bad. <laughs> this is the way I'm gonna do it. So, yeah. So can I? Can you see it? Uh, I can't see it. All right. We're just gonna flip it over now. There you go. Just super happy, fun time sandwiches. Okay, now we're gonna just kind of align this a little bit better. Get it to. Uh, oops. Get all nice in there. There you go. And then we're gonna stick the crown in the hole. Movement is not quite in there all the way. There you go. That's better. That's better. And we're going to stick the crown in the hole. Boom. Crown is in there. Screwing it down, screwing it down. And then we're going to just get the case back. I'm going to put the I'm going to put the gasket back on case like that oh, this thing got bent hmm. weird how did that how, how does that happen I don't know so, anyway put, that looks good put the case cover on and we're gonna get the ball of justice here rolling this makes things so much easier and uh, I will tighten it with the case back tightener tool tool later. And wow, dang, dudes! 
so I'm going to put it on a, a strap real quick here. So be, bear with me. I'm going to put it on uh, Strappy McStrappers here, and uh, we'll see what happens as things go along. <clears throat> <coughs> All right, so this is, uh, here we go, I got it on an orange natal, got this strap from uh, Strap Mania, and uh, does it change the look of the monster a lot? No, not really, I don't think it changes the look that much, but um, it does definitely give a slightly more bulbous dome, um, but it's not too much in my opinion, I actually want to try another one, uh, I want to try a lower dome if possible, if they have one. Uh, but I like it. It's not it's not very dramatic, but I, I still like it. Sapphire crystal and a monster. And uh put it on my wrist. This is uh this is looking more more and more like the watch I'm gonna take on my adventure because uh I love the monster. <laughs> and uh, use this uh use this strap. The strap is a little bit too small for me, but uh, uh I'm a little too a little too big or a little too small I don't know there you go guys yeah what do you think can't really see the air coating but there's probably gonna be some beauty shots at the end and uh, this is looking more and more like the watch I'm gonna take on the adventure so yeah that's this thanks for this thanks for watching and sitting through this super long video and uh, we'll see you later <laughs>